Hi there, I'm Dr. Ben Wise from the Kelowna Skin Cancer Clinic. For those of you who doesn't know me, I'm the medical director and owner. And then of course, for you guys that do know me, uh, this is a familiar face. The reason for this video is just to bring everybody up to speed with um, some recent changes uh, in our practice. And I just wanted to bring everybody up to speed with what is happening. First of all, I just want to um, start by saying um, again that I am not a specialist. I can't call myself a specialist. Uh, I'm a general practitioner trained in family medicine. And then I did a master's degree through the University of Queensland in Australia. And my main focus is skin cancer. That's all I do. I don't do any other uh, dermatological uh, skin diseases. But again, I can't call myself a specialist. I'm not a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon or any of those other things. At Kelowna Skin Cancer, we offer full body photography or digital mole mapping and dermoscopy. This is where we take photos of your whole skin and we analyze every little spot on your skin. And this is the gold standard worldwide for patients at high risk for skin cancer, as well as for patients who has had skin cancer and specifically melanoma. Those patients we typically would see uh, every six months where we would do full body photography um, and dermoscopy on them. And then the idea is that we want to find uh, a skin cancer before we can see it with the naked eye, where artificial intelligence would show us any new or changing skin lesions. Unfortunately, over the past few weeks, we've realized and we've learned that we are not allowed to bill for full body photography privately in conjunction with a visit that we would typically bill the medical service plan of BC. So previously what would happen is if you're not doing full body photography, you will see me and I would bill the medical service plan of British Columbia for that consultation. If you do full body photography and that is not covered by the medical service plan, then you would pay privately for that. And then I would still bill the medical service plan for your visit. But unfortunately, um, the doctors of BC, um, as well as the medical service plan of BC, they've decided that any technology that is being used in a consultation or visit is all inclusive, which means that we're not allowed to bill for any extra service that we would do in a visit or a consultation which of course mean that we are not allowed to bill for full body photography or mole mapping privately, which um, unfortunately led to a huge dilemma for us because we had three options. The first would be is to stop doing full body photography, um, which of course we can't do um, because this is the gold standard for um, skin cancer medicine and specifically working with patients at very high risk for skin cancer. The second option would be, of course, to do it for free. Um, and I wish we could do that, but unfortunately this technology is unbelievably expensive and we won't be able to offer that as a free service. The third option is to de-enroll from the medical service plan because then um, I can bill privately for that visit. And unfortunately, that was the only option for me um, was to de-enroll from the medical service plan so that we can continue or I can continue. Now, of course, the question is, what does that mean? What does it mean to be de-enrolled? Simply, that means that um, patients can see me without a referral. But also, unfortunately, that means that there will be a private fee for that visit. So you don't need a referral because I can't bill the medical service plan anymore. So when you see me, this is like going to the dentist, for instance, where there will be a private fee for that. Also, if I examine you and I do find a lesion that we need to remove or do a biopsy on um, or spray with liquid nitrogen, there will be an extra charge for that procedure. 
Of course, before we do the procedure, we will let you know about the cost. But this is now a little bit different because previously I would find a cancer, I would immediately remove it for you. And of course, there's no cost associated for you because our medical service plan would cover that. But unfortunately now, because I'm private, um, there will be a fee for that. Also, if I remove or do a biopsy on that lesion and we send that to the hospital for examination, the hospital will also have a fee for that. Now, that fee will only be charged later on because it depends on if the cancer that I've removed, if that is a cancer or not. If I was luckily wrong and it's not a skin cancer, then it's a, it's a little bit more affordable. It's a, just over $50 that the lab would charge you. Um, if it is a skin cancer, it's just over $100 that they would charge you. But that bill they will send in the mail. Um, also, if I refer you to a specialist, so let's say I refer you to a plastic surgeon or a head and neck surgeon and I'm private, that doctor can only charge the medical service plan a basic visit, which typically results in that that specialist is going to ask you anything from $60 to $70 for the visit or the consultation. If they do the procedure on you where they remove the cancer on you, Luckily, the procedure at the hospital or wherever the procedure is done, that will be covered by med the medical service plan, as well as the examination of the lesion, the histology um, at the hospital, that's also covered by the medical service plan. So if I refer you to another specialist, um, there might just be that extra fee that you need to pay for the consultation. You're not going to pay for anything else. I know this is very confusing. I am literally part of 0.1% of physicians that's de-enrolled from MSP in the province. So most physicians are unfamiliar with this. Um, most patients are definitely unfamiliar with this. And um, I had to do a lot of reading and ask a lot of questions about how um, this procedure will work. Now, luckily in our office, I'm the only one that is de-enrolled um, so that I can still continue to offer full body photography and digital dermoscopy. So if you've had full body photography and digital dermoscopy with one of my colleagues, unfortunately, you your care will be transferred to me so that I can do that because the other physicians in the office are not allowed to offer that service as I've explained. Also, Again, for the patients that previously would have seen me and that can't afford to see me and pay the private fee, luckily my colleagues in the office, because they're still enrolled with MSP, they can see you. And um, again, there's no cost associated with that. All my patients that didn't do full body photography that was, so to say, used to paying a private fee already, those patients will ha now have the option of either paying privately to see me or we can rebook them with one of my colleagues. Unfortunately, the waiting list is the big problem now because, of course, I'm seeing much less patients and all the patients that I previously would see through MSP, they are now back in the pool, so to say. Uh, they need to be seen by the other physicians. I'm really, really sorry about this. And I must say this breaks my heart. I do feel that I wish I could do more and I wish I could do better. But unfortunately, our hands are tied. And that's why... Um, at this stage, we're the only clinic in the whole of British Columbia that is offering full body photography. And as I've said, this is the gold standard of care in the world. So um, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But again, um, this is a very important service that I feel very strongly about. You can read on our website all the studies that, is, that has been done about digital photography and digital dermoscopy all the benefits of that. If you have any questions, please phone our office at 236-420-3277. And of course, try to be as kind as possible with the staff. I think they're definitely 
I'm also going through a rough time. Um, I think there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of frustration, of course. And I think our goal is specifically at the Kelowna Skin Cancer Clinic that we want to care for our patients. Um, I always say we are your quarterback for skin cancer. But as I say, if you have any questions, please reach out at our office. We would love to talk to you and help you. Also visit our website, www.kelonaskincancer.com for more information. And thanks for understanding. Thanks for being an awesome patient. And as I said, our goal is to help and be as proactive as possible. We believe in preventative health. One rule for myself, I'm not allowed to brush my teeth in the morning unless I've got sunscreen on my face and ears. SPF at least 40. Even if you forget about everything that I've said, that's the most important thing to help your own immune system to prevent skin cancer. Try to reach out to other people. Um, Let's create together skin cancer awareness so that we can save one patient at a time and make a huge difference. Thanks so much for listening and understanding. And uh, as I say, we're together in this and we're going to get through this. 